All right, so excited because we have Tom back with us, and we're going to have a lot of fun with this segment. It's been a long time, my friend. Happy to have you back. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So we have Matt and we have Tom. We're going to start with Matt because, Matt, you are going to kind of explain to us what the blank – kind of we're going to do like a blank canvas, and then Tom's going to help us dress it up, right? That's exactly right. What we're starting with here is a blank canvas. Say you freshly remodeled or you built the house or you've just given that fresh coat of paint. You start with your core pieces, your basic furniture that you're building around and that you want to complete your total look with. You have everything picked out that you're very comfortable with. You start with something as simple as a nice accent rug to pull off the complete look and build around. It's very important when you're choosing your new bedroom that you also choose a nice, comfortable set of bedding that's going to give you that wonderful night's sleep in your new room because you want to love this new place yes. that you've just built. Yes. One of the most important things that we have to take into account that we always address with you in the height of your bed is making sure that the mattress height, whether you change the foundation or you change the mattress, coordinates with the bed style that you choose so you don't leave unsightly gaps or seams in places where the bed's not meant to be shown. And you help with that because you and I have done quite a few segments together with bedding and things like that, and that's a nice thing is that um, you, you help us think of those little things we have not thought of. That's what it's about. It's about the complete solution here at Grand, and we strive really hard to help you build that complete solution so you don't have to come back try to add this later or try to add this later. One step, one complete solution is so much simpler and so much nicer to settle back, relax, and forget about it because you're done. Gotcha. Makes complete sense. Well, let's turn to Tom, and uh, we're going to really dress this up. Tom is one of the, you're so good at making things look just and, and feel just right for our homes. It's our job, darling. We're here to make your home gorgeous. So we have the blank canvas. Where do we start normally? All right, we'll do a little bit of, you know, magic. And what I'll do is I'll have this bed dress, then I'll add lamps, then I'll add pictures, then I'll add bric-a-brac, and it'll be totally homey by the time we're done. And I think people need to, I think we need to remind them that Grand Home is known for furniture and furnishings, but you guys have a wide array of accessories and lighting and all kinds of stuff. Yes, we go to market twice a year. We select new uh, accessories, rugs, lamps, all the extras for your home. Wow, you guys work fast. Maybe we should give you two your own sort of designer room makeover show. You guys would be perfect. Yes. I'd go for that in a heartbeat. There we go. We'll tell everybody to call in and email and, and make it happen and we'll give you your own show. How in the world did you guys, well I want to say how in the world because that's what you guys are here for, to, to really help dress up these spaces and get these get things looking good. Absolutely, and we have the benefit here at Grand of such wonderful decorators on staff whose job it is to know how to pull off this total look and then help us to learn that as we go along so we can all be able to educate you whether the time's here or not. We can really help pull together as best we can and then come back to the expert for advice. Right. Right. So Tom, give us a quick run through of what you did with this space. All right, decorating is easy. People need to realize that. All we did was personalize this. You bring in a bit of greenery to add color and warmth and life to the room. Mm -hmm. You bring in books. I have tons of books in my homes that I scatter about because it's a great way to break the ice and start conversation. You have fun lamps. You have got to have fun lamps. These were used just to lighten up the oak and to, or the pine rather, sorry, and to bring out the pewter poles because there's a shimmery finish on those lamps. Right. Then we've got some bits of porcelain. We've got some nice prints on the wall. We've put a tree behind the headboard. And you have to have beautiful bedding. I'm big on beautiful bedding. It creates a mood. And I love how the, sort of the whole feel is kind of very muted. You, you know, I'm so used to seeing bright, not that bright colors are bad, but I love that you went with the, it's just kind of soft, very relaxing environment. When we were at market this fall, the big thing was monochromatic schemes. Mm. They're going for a feeling of warmth and comfort and relaxation. Uh, they are saying that the consumer is spending more and more time in their nest, and they want something calm at the end of a long day. So, you know, with a drink in your hand and a calm room, it works wonders. I think you both did a wonderful job, and it was so fun to see you guys working and doing all this. And I, I, can we just start doing these segments more often? I think they're fantastic. That was a lot of fun. 